I have with me here in the studio YB Lim Lip Eng, Member of Parliament for Kapong. Uh, YB, thank you so much for taking the time out to come and speak to us today. Thank you. You've been very actively pushing for is uh, local government elections. Yes. Uh, why do you think this is important? So to, to have a real world-class city in KL or, or accountable or civilised city, I think we have to have an elected mayor who is accountable, who is responsible. But now that the issue has been brought up and people are talking about it, how, how soon do you think until we can have local yeah. government elections? I, 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 I'm giving myself 300 days uh, to at least come up with a legal framework how to, to run this local government election. Have you received any uh, kind of indication that your proposal is being looked into? I think so. Two days ago, our Home Minister, uh, Tan Si Mihudin, he announced it will be a total revamp uh, for PDRM and also Immigration Department. I think that that's a good start. Now, last month, uh, you filed a police report. You you were asking for the Altan Tuya Sharibu case to be reopened. Uh, what are you hoping will come out of this? Someone should be charged again for conspire to murder or abetting in murder. Current IGP has said that uh, they found no evidence to, to support them reopening the case. Uh, do you feel that if there is a revamp within PDRM, that maybe if there's someone new inside there, that they will be more, maybe they'll, they'll take a different approach to it, they'll be more agreeable to reopen the case? I, I agree with my colleague, uh, my fellow MP, Mr. Ram Kappa. He said, uh, I think he has some information about this Atan Tuya murder case. Now, this is a very high profile case. It's yeah. one of the most high profile yeah. cases we've had in a long time. Um, have you ever felt along the way that maybe you feared for your safety or you know the safety of your loved ones speaking out against, you know, in, in such a, a case like this and, and speaking out publicly? Uh, about matters like this? Have you ever feared for your yeah, safety? I, I started DAP like 20 years ago and when I started off, I started like this, you know, going to police station, uh, doing press conference for all this injustice, injustice, unfairness. So I'm kind of kind of like used to it. And talking about threat to my family members, the most recent one is, I think it's like three, three or four years ago when the Ponzi game is so rampant in Malaysia. You guys call it what money game? Yeah. So uh, at one time, I hit, I hit hard on all this money game, and those money game operator they put up bounty on my head, few millions. Yeah, that was three years ago. Yeah, but everything was okay. In yeah, the my, end, right? my yes. head is still attached. <laughs>